everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's about time that I did a haul this month and this one is a little bit different than normal. It's not from ASOS and it's not from Misguided. This one is actually from a website in the US called Revolve and I'm sure that many of you have already heard about it. I'm sure it's old news but for those of you that don't know Revolve is pretty much that website that you go to when you want something really really nice to wear. They do amazing brands like Lovers and Friends, For Love and Lemons, Majorelle, um, Tula Rosa. I've picked up a few bits but not loads because Revolve is slightly, just slightly higher in price point than ASOS and Topshop and Misguided and things like that. But like I said, it's somewhere that you go when you really want something special and on this occasion I just wanted to buy some really nice different pieces that maybe you haven't seen already on the internet before. If you do see anything that you fancy purchasing in this haul, you'll find it all linked down below and it is really easy to buy from Revolve. They do calculate all of the sort of customs charges and import charges at checkout so you know there's not any like nasty bills when the parcel actually arrives so you know what you're paying, you know how much. I just think that makes it a lot easier and um, it takes a little bit of the stress away from shopping abroad. You can also get things quite quickly. They can be with you from three days, anything up to ten days, but you can always pay for like express shipping and that's usually like three to six days. But as usual I'm nattering on loads so let's get into the haul. But before we do, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below for two videos a week because I would love to see you back here for more. By the way, I am sweating so much it's just all of a sudden got so hot today and I just haven't factored that into filming so I'm not as prepared as last time it was that hot I haven't got like fans or spray or anything like that I'm just sat here sweating in my pants <laughs> so first up we have a blouse which is from a Los Angeles brand called L'Academy I think I've said that right I hope I said that right anyway otherwise that's really embarrassing because there's nothing more embarrassing than trying an accent in front of people because it never goes to plan <laughs> this is kind of a like lilac-y blue I guess Blouse. It's quite heavy in its fabric, which is nice. It makes it feel a little bit more expensive. It's got this ruffle detail around the neckline, which is quite plunging, but also has this kind of lace-up detail. It's long sleeve, which um, means that it's going to be quite wearable in like spring months and autumn months and things like that. I got it in a size small because I think the extra small was sold out, so it is going to be a little bit bigger, but I have learnt from past hauls that possibly I need to go a little bit bigger so that things fit across my chest. <laughs> And this cost about £108, I believe, so yeah, it's a little bit more pricey, but um, just a little bit different in terms of your usual sort of Topshop and ASOS stuff. And I'd probably wear this with like distressed white denim shorts or white denim jeans, or I've actually got some really nice cream trousers from Joseph that this might look quite nice with. So yeah, let's see what it looks like on. So this is the L'Academy uh, blouse, and I was a little bit worried about this, I'm not going to lie, when I took it out and saw how low it came down, I was like, oh... With my chest, I can't wear that, but actually the ruffles cover it really nicely and make it completely wearable. And it's, again, so soft. The fabrics that they... <laughs> she always sneezes when I'm filming my cutaways. <laughs> She's so cute. I think there's the fabrics that they use, which are really, really nice at Revolve. These have all been so soft and comfortable, and I just absolutely love this. I think it's beautiful. I just, I can wear this so much, and it's so summery with white denim. Yeah, I'm really happy with this. It's really nice. It's just so comfortable. Oh my gosh. I know that loads of you are always really interested in these white denim shorts. I actually got them for like £8, so I'll see if I can find them. I got them from a random website, um, but I'll see if I can find the exact same pair, and I will link them down below as well so that you can pick them up if you you want to just thought I'd quickly show you it out as well just for reference it's actually double lined so um, you are very covered in this it's not see-through at all and then the back is oh and then this is the back which is very lovely next we have a dress from lovers and friends which is kind of this peach um, cut out lacy crochet detail um, which is overlaid over the same peachy lining. I think the colour is so beautiful on this and it's kind of in a shift style so it's not clingy, it's quite loose fitting um, but still quite structured and it kind of comes in on the neckline which is I find quite flattering on like this area for me so that was why I was quite drawn to it. I intend to wear it as more of like a day dress I think so with sandals 
or with sort of like flat shoes or maybe just like slightly higher kind of kitteny heels but not kitten heels because that's just such a horrible word but kind of like my Chanel pumps but a little bit higher I don't I know what I'm trying to say here <laughs> I know what I'm trying to say, but yeah, I just mean that I would probably want to wear this during the day rather than for special occasions It's definitely more of a day dress for me, but that all might change when I try it on So let's see what it looks like on me So this is the dress from lovers and friends and I just think this is such an easy thing to wear You literally just put it on and you already feel like you've made an effort and you feel quite put together I love the color of it. I think it makes like it makes your tan stand out a little bit I really like the pattern of it and also the little details to the hem um, I like the fact that you can't see through it So it's really just easy to wear. It's one of those things that you can just throw on to go to the beach or throw on with a pair of sandals So um, yeah, I really do think that this is a winner and I just I just love it. I think it's such a nice color So yeah, this is the back of it Back looks like this. Yeah, very, very happy with it. It looks very nice, <laughs> if I do say so myself. Then we have another top from that really beautiful brand, L'Academy. <laughs> I'm gonna keep saying it like it's a question because I don't know whether I'm saying it right. Um, but this I just fell in love with. It is so beautiful. Again, it's kind of like a blouse and it's cream, but it's sort of a bit military-esque with these um, button fastening thingies that I never know what they're called on the shoulders. And then it's kind of got a double-breasted um, style to the front and then also a tie waist so it kind of clinches it in really nicely it's got a little bit of sort of an overlay flap over the top of the chest area but this just looked so beautiful on the model that I couldn't not buy it it just looks so nice and I just think this will be so versatile we'll be able to wear this whatever the weather so Yes, I am very, very excited to try this one on. I think that this is probably one of my favorite brands on Revolve, that and Majorelle. I think that they are both two of my favorite brands, but um, I got this in a size extra small and it cost 140 pounds, I think. So. And then this is the kind of double-breasted style shirty blouse and it actually does come down quite low so again I may need to pin this this is just a personal preference I know that some girls look amazing with their like chest showing but I just I don't feel I can do that so um, I always tend to pin things anyway but I love the way this looks I actually think that this will be really nice for London Fashion Week um, when it gets just a little bit colder and I can wear it with like trousers and stuff like that I just think this is absolutely beautiful um, again really lovely fabric really good weight not see-through I love the gold buttons on it and the tie waist as well so that it brings that that shirt feeling but brings it in at the waist this again is from L'Academy which is obviously now one of my favorite brands on Revolve along with Majorelle so and yeah I just absolutely love this it is um, definitely one of my favorite pieces from the entire haul and it did not let me down so yeah I'm so I literally can't believe how good this haul's gone this is literally like the best haul ever I love everything <laughs> Yes, for shopping at Revolve. Next, we have a jumpsuit from Majorelle. I think that's how you say it. Majorelle? Majorelle? Majorelle. Majorelle. <laughs> this is a full length jumpsuit, so it's right down to the floor. Um, quite a wide leg with crochet detailing to the midriff and the sleeves and also the bottoms of the legs and uh, again this just looked incredible on the model so I couldn't not buy it because I've never actually had anything like this in my wardrobe either so I kind of wanted to try it out as something a bit different but something a bit dressy that I can wear that looks a bit nice during the day but isn't like a dress if you know what I mean I just wanted something a bit different and this hit the mark perfectly. So I'm thinking that I'm gonna style this up with kind of like my Chanel bag with a scarf on it just to sort of give it some contrast. And yeah, I got it in a size extra small and this cost 200 pounds. So I think that this is possibly the most expensive item in the entire haul, but I'm hoping that it's gonna look absolutely exceptional on. So let's try it on and see if it really is a winner. So this is the most expensive item in the entire haul and it is definitely my favourite. Um, probably not the best for slightly larger chests. I might need to put a pin or maybe I'll just put another button in just so it's a little bit more closed for me just so I don't feel like this is all on show. Um, but I love this. It is so flattering. It fits so nicely and I love the fact that 
it's not see-through so I feel quite comfortable in it I don't feel like oh my god like nude underwear all round I feel very very comfortable in it and it feels nice and loose I'm gonna try and insert a cutaway of it lengthways so you, you can see how beautiful it is but yeah this is absolutely beautiful I think I'm actually I've got an event tomorrow so I'm gonna wear this tomorrow um, but yeah I got this in the smallest size just needs to little button and it's a really great uh, leg length it will look nice with heels and um, I don't know whether I'd be able to wear this with flats though just because um, I don't want them to hang on the floor because it's white but yeah this is um, this is definitely my favorite item in the haul I think it like it fits me really nicely there it's a really nice neckline the sleeves aren't too tight even though the fabric is quite rigid it's a really good weight of fabric so it's not see-through and I'm just really happy with it I know that 200 pounds is a lot but I could wear this so much. And then we have a play suit, which I didn't realize it was Jersey, but now that I've seen it in Jersey, I actually really like it, but I did think that this was going to be um, a bit more dressy than day wear, but then it might look better on, I'm not sure, but I just really liked the way that this looked on the model again, because it was sort of tighter here, so this didn't make you look bigger. Um, but this is from, this is from Lovers and Friends again. Yeah, it was just a bit more flattering than the other styles of play suits that I'd ever seen in this kind of overlay style, if you know what I mean, because I find that sometimes this can make you look bigger, just kind of like you're wearing a lot of ruffles rather than giving you any shape. But yeah, I hope this looks as nice on me as it did on the model. I'm not hopeful, but we can we can only see. <laughs> it also comes like up around the neck, that's kind of like the centre point and everything just kind of drapes down from there. I got it in a size extra small again and this cost a hundred pounds which I think for the fabric is a little bit much but the shape and how it looks on might redeem it just because it's jersey though that's the only thing I think that hundred pounds for like a jersey play suit possibly is a little bit expensive but we can only see what it looks like so yeah let's get trying this one on so this is the play suit from lovers and friends and needs a little bit of an iron not gonna lie but actually God, this is comfortable. I can't put into words how comfortable this is. I could wear this all day long with some really nice sandals or some boots as well and just feel totally and utterly comfortable. Again, I love the neckline of this and I think the dress from Lovers and Friends was also this kind of neckline where it just kind of scoops under your arms. I haven't actually got a bra on with it um, and I probably wouldn't wear a bra with it either because it's so comfortable. <laughs> no one needs a bra. And then it's got this overlay um, over the top half and then it ruches in at the centre and it comes up around your neck. Then that is the back of it. This is definitely going to be worn a lot when I'm in Morocco. It's just, it feels very light, very cool and um, just very, very comfortable. So very happy with this <laughs> and then finally is from a brand called Tula Rosa and this is actually something I got a while ago um, but they kind of always have it in stock in a variety of colors and I just think that this is one of the nicest dresses I have and I love being able to wear this when I travel when I'm abroad and stuff like that and it's from a brand called Tula Rosa which is kind of one of their like exclusive brands I think but this comes in like mint green a baby pink color and I got it in a red color because I don't actually have a lot of red in my wardrobe so I thought that it might make a nice change but again I like wearing this as kind of a day dress um, it's very sort of crochet-esque and it's got little pom-poms on and it's just quite fun I think and it's very very comfortable to wear it does come up quite high neck but the crochet detailing doesn't make it look too like restricting or anything like that um, so I have tried this on before I've actually worn it before but I did think that you guys might like to see this on because this is one of those kind of classic styles that they have on there all the time and quite a lot of girls have this dress and um, it's just one of those ones that you see and you think I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of it so I did think that I would just give this one a mention quickly again it's a size extra small and I'm not a hundred percent sure on how much this one cost what I'll do is there'll be a link with all of the rest of the stuff down in the description box and that will take you to exactly where it is and it'll be able to tell you the correct price not just an estimate like I was intending on doing <laughs> but anyway let's show you what this looks like on so this is the Tula Rosa dress and it comes in so many different colours but I just loved the red and red isn't really a colour that I usually go for 
but I love the way it looks with tan skin. I think this is a really nice holiday dress. You can also add a belt to it to sit on your hips to just kind of like bring it in a little bit. I think this is one of those dresses that's a bit of an all-rounder. I probably wouldn't wear it dressed up. I think this is quite a casual fabric, but it is a really good summer dress. And again, it's very comfortable. I think that that's the difference between paying a little bit more for your clothing is that you've got the fact that it looks good, but it's also really, really comfortable. And this is no exception. I absolutely love this dress and I kind of want it in a few more colors now. <laughs> but yeah, I love it in the red. The red's definitely my favorite. And this is the back of it. And like I said, you can sort of put belts with it to bring it in and make it look a little bit nicer. So that is everything in my first ever Revolve haul here on YouTube. And I really do hope that you have enjoyed this video. I know that things are slightly higher in price point for everyday wear. So hopefully these are things that you can see can be worn on more special occasions. Like if you've got anything going on over the summer, if you've got a special holiday or wedding or anything like that, hopefully some of these items might be appropriate for those. But please do let me know your thoughts in the comments box below and also let me know what your favorite item was because I would be interested to know what it was. Whilst you're down there you will find all of the links to the products that were featured as I've mentioned before. You will also find all of my social media links like Instagram, Twitter, Facebook and Snapchat which as usual I will pop on screen so that you can quickly snap it and put it in your phone. If you liked the video don't forget to give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button if you're new and I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!